Hey, kids. I bet you're glad it's Friday. You looking forward to the yeah. mountain? Yeah, Kevin and I are going to go hiking up to the lake. Yeah, my big brother's letting me take his boat out. I get to stay home this weekend, but I'll find something fun to do. Good for you, Terry. Fun is where you find it, providing you find it safely. Don't worry about us, Miss Kingsley. We'll be all right. Our school's starting a danger dodger club. Yeah, we all plan to join. This is Miss Karen Kingsley, youthful, gifted, attractive. A successful freelance architect who still finds time to serve the children of her community as a volunteer crossing guard. A very special kind of woman. Perhaps more special than you can imagine. I learn a lot. Yeah. I hope you have fun on your weekend. Okay. Okay. You be careful now. Okay. okay. Well, bye bye. 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 See you Monday. Bye. It was less than a year ago. Karen was returning from a visit to her favorite Aunt Margaret in the small township of Springfield. It was here that something took place which gave her extraordinary powers. how Karen Kingsley became safety woman. Are you ready to shove off? All right. 
Are you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Aware. Aware. Alert. Alert. Alive. Alive. Right, boys. And to stay alive, let's review the rules for water safety. Learn to swim from a qualified instructor who can help and advise you. And stay in shallow water until you know how to swim. Avoid running and horseplay around pools. Learn and practice life-saving and rescue breathing. Never go swimming or boating when you're tired. Don't swim when overheated or right after eating. Never dive into water unless you know beforehand how deep the water is, because obstacles may lie hidden below the surface. Never swim or boat in an area where there's no one around to help you, and never go boating without a life jacket on. Boy, we really goofed. Yeah, we were dumb. No, boys, you just made a mistake. One I don't think you'll ever make again. Yeah. When we get out of doors, we feel free. But we're never free of the dangers around us. We've always got to stay alert. There was a hiker here last week, for example. Well, he came prepared. He had on good hiking shoes. He carried a snake bite kit and a canteen of water. He had a jacket in his pack in case he got cold, an emergency snack, and even a map of the area. But he made a mistake. He broke the first rule of safe hiking, never hike alone. Whenever you hike, tell a responsible person where you're going. He decided to do a little climbing. Like so many other hikers who were injured, he went beyond his limits. He called for help. Since he was alone, no one could hear him. Help! 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 Lucky for Rodney that you saved him. Yes, but even safety women can't be everywhere. That's why everyone must practice safety. Hey, Jeff, can I ride your mini bike around the block once? No way, Terry. Kids our age, they're not allowed to ride around on the block. It's illegal for kids our age to be riding around on the streets. Then where are you going to ride it, huh? Well... After I get it adjusted, my dad and I are going to go up to Uncle Jack's ranch. 
And up there is private property, so it's okay for us to ride it. Take me with you. I'll ask your dad. He'll let me. Wrong again. He wouldn't even let you get on it without the proper equipment. What equipment? Over there. Boots, gloves, leather jacket, helmet. You must fall down a lot, huh? Even the best riders take spills, Terry. That's why they all come prepared. No one should ride a mini bike who isn't wearing the proper helmet and clothing. Jeff, come on. No, you can't ride it. You're no fun. Keep your old mini bike. Don't ask to borrow my skateboard, Jeff. Jerry, look out! Look out! I must leave. <coughs> Aware. Alert. Alive. My skateboard. Guardiana, you saved me. Yes, Terry, but that was too close. And our town does have a paved area set aside for skateboarding. And if I'm not mistaken, it's only four blocks from where we're standing right now. Here, you won't be in danger from cars. And you won't endanger pedestrians. Helmets and pads are required, so everyone can have fun without the risk of serious injury. Boy, Terry, you almost blew it, but good that time. By this much, if Guardiana had... Now, Jeff, I think Terry just forgot that sometimes the only way to avoid danger is to stay away from the places where danger is at. An abandoned car might look like fun, but jagged edges, broken glass, and other hidden dangers can spell trouble. What other places should we stay away from, Jeff? The railroad tracks. Good, Jeff. What else? Power lines. Right. Can you think of some, Terry? Places where they're building new houses and things. Good. What else? Or dirty old vacant lots, like on Peach Street. That's right. Being alert means staying away from those places. Every town has parks and playgrounds and places where you can have fun safely. You see, Terry, here you can have fun and not have to worry about traffic. My problem is I keep forgetting important things, like being alert. Now, we all forget, Terry. It takes practice to keep aware and alert, and there are lots of new dangers that we have to look out for, too. That's why schools have safety clubs like the Danger Dodgers. Then maybe I should join one while I'm still in one piece. Terry, you're going to be all right. Danger Dodgers, I salute you. We won't forget, safety woman. Aware, alert, alive! Ah. Oh, really? Well, I'd like to hear all about it. <laughs> 